praise god my name is redemptor moke and today i want to talk about something different but before i start this video was requested a long time ago i had already done this video i've been searching it in my drive i've been searching it in my laptop i couldn't find it so i decided let me just redo this video because i'm finding so many people are talking about this topic and some of people are misleading people and uh yeah so here i am today so i'm going to talk about is it okay for a christian to get married to an unbeliever is it okay as me as a believer to get married to a muslim to get married to a hindu to get married to a buddha is it appropriate does god like does god you know they say love overcomes everything it's true so does god say it's okay for you to do so so in this video i'm also going to put my testimony my experience in it so that you can get tips and if you are a youth and you're thinking of doing this i think this is the right time that before you make the final final decision if you're married uh we will just pray about it and let god just um, do what because you cannot okay this is for the people who are not married okay i'll just try to be straightforward as i can so all my life i've been into relationships like uh, not serious relationship not like i can say they've been serious but i've always end up uh, meeting the wrong people it reached a point and i said why do i always attract the wrong guys it's either they're drunker they smoker they say they believe in jesus but they were hypocrite but during this time i myself i was also a hypocrite so it's like i will see the mirror of myself in them but i'll also be like why these people are saying you love god but he doesn't and when like a true christian guy comes and approach me and is like he's a believer of christ i'll be like me with a church boy no i cannot do this i bet right now they're calling me a church girl because uh, i've been the person that i didn't want to meet people who are like that i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so now uh this happened for a period of some times and uh for a period of years not even sometimes every guy i was attracted to every guy that i met they were hypocrites not only hypocrites they say they believe jesus but they will not act even close close to to those hypocrites we see in church no they will not be even close they will go party they will go do this do this do this do this and uh, when i became a believer and i was like it's done it's done so now guys if you're thinking of meeting a person who doesn't believe in jesus especially if jesus is the biggest part of your life it's not really right i cannot tell you to go to something that it's really it's really gonna it's going to <clears throat> how how can i put it in a way that i will not make you feel uh feel like uh especially for those who are already married into this i can make you not feel so bad or make you feel miserable but yeah it's really not recommended for you to get married to an unbeliever first thing they're not going to pull you up it's always the believer who are pulled down you know before you enter into a marriage if you meet a guy he's not a believer wait until that guy becomes a believer if he's not going to be it's not your work it's the lord doing if god really intended that person to be with you that person is truly going to be with you so if that person is not a believer i don't see yourself mixing into this because in so many churches women who are there and the men and you meet them and you hear their story especially those who are married they will tell you oh my husband is not a believer it's really miserable we sometimes disagree he doesn't want me to come to church he doesn't want my children to hear anything about Christ because he totally believe nothing that in the existence of God he totally don't believe in Jesus so it's really it's a mess and when i was into this relationship yes i did believe in jesus i was yes a hypocrite but i found myself coming out even into the into the into the bracket of saying i believe in christ i'll be like i'm becoming more like one of them and those who know me i'm a very it's i'm i'm very strong person especially when it comes to peer pressure i don't just get waved i stand firm on my ground but when you're into this you just get dragged you find yourself slowly and slowly and slowly going down and uh, i'm going to put this scripture before i continue this is in first corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 be not 
be do be not deceived evil communication corrupt good manners this is true if you're with someone who is uh, not of christ and you want to uh, put your marriage together and you want to end up together so um, what, what do you expect in return prince charming prince harry what do you expect in return marriage is not so easy i'm not married but it's not really easy people think it's walk in the park but uh, with the knowledge and the wisdom that i have and what i see even me myself sometimes i really ask myself are you really ready for this are you prepared to do this because marriage is not just all about love you know they say love overcome everything but if love love does not uh, that does not win you a ticket to heaven you just saying that oh i love him so much you know and then you're like get married uh, you know and then you get married because of love and then something terrible happens uh, and it happens your faith is dragged down slowly by slowly you start losing your salvation you're not going to say that love overcomes everything again you have to think is it going to make me my life miserable you know some people they throw themselves into the pit and they're like i'm just gonna swim up i'm just gonna climb up late and then you find there is no way for you to come out of it these consequences there's really consequences and there was a time also another lady was saying oh i can't marry a christian a believer they're all hypocrites in church and i was like into my heart i couldn't tell them because they were in the crowd like shame on you girl how can you say that you also go to the same church and you're saying that these guys in the church are hypocrites so are you you are hypocrite because if you say everyone that uh, believe in christ is a hypocrite that it's rather you go and get a man from the world you too are hypocrites because because also men out there they are saying you also they, they are saying the same thing it is really bad to classify like uh, for example i go to church okay i believe in christ so let's say for example i'm a believer and then i'm like i cannot get married to a church boy i cannot when i used to say that during that time i was stupid when i really look back and i'm like how stupid was i really so stupid i cannot even classify myself as one of the wisest people or one of the at least wisest people that i used to think during that time it really wasn't good and some people they say oh i love him i cannot leave him i don't think i will ever find a, a man that love me this way let me tell you dear dear beloved my brother or my sister whoever is watching this let me tell you this if you got a man he treats you better he treats you right he's everything you wanted in a man and he doesn't believe in christ if this man is not ready to accept christ walk out trust me there are men out there who believe in jesus there are men out there who is going to treat you even better there are men out there who is going to treat you the way you're supposed to be and if you're a guy you met a woman of your dreams she has all the quality you need in a wife she's submissive she's humble but she does not believe in jesus please walk out there are women who believe in jesus you cannot tell me all christians are hypocrites you cannot tell me. yes we all know they are hypocrites but you cannot say it's all of them there's hypocrisy in church indeed but in you, you cannot tell me this even when god was destroying sodom and gomorrah when god was destroying it with the fire there were people who were counted acceptable out of it so you you're telling me that everyone is hypocrite just because you met a man that treats you better and is an atheist and you're like i don't think i'm going to find anyone like this i don't think i'm going to find a husband material shame on you but and another thing i hear ladies saying that um oh the church boys are they're, they're, they're old-fashioned they're not romantic i cannot date one and i'm like have you traveled all the world have you met everyone have you met every believer in the world that you're saying that people from the church are not sweet they're not romantic they cannot treat you like have you we should stop this some guys are like oh i cannot date a, a christian lady because they're too holy they're too spiritual they're too fasting they're not sweet they're this 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 and that if you met one and was like that just say i met this so and so and was like this don't just put every christian woman into that bracket and if you want to get married to an unbeliever 
just to go to married people that you see in your congregation, in your gathering, in your fellowship, in your prayer meeting, in your church. Just go and talk to them. Ask them whether they are all believers or they are not. Just ask them, what do you think? How does it normally go when you're already inside? Is it walk in the park the way we think, you know? Or is this just um, death row? I don't know if that is an appropriate word to use because some marriages, uh, you see people committing suicide, not all of them, you see divorce, and that is the one thing, God hates divorce, so once you get into this marriage, we'll pray about it, so let, 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 let God be God, and, 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 and let us be wise before we step into one thing. I've listened to so many people in so many stories. Uh, uh, I don't want to put, uh, but so many people that I know, they were like, oh, I met this guy, he was like this. And uh, they finally knew this was the one, and they was like, this is really the one. And later it turned out this guy wasn't the one. So again, I always say, early signs matters. If a guy is already like a non-believer, and then you're seeing signs that he's trying to be a believer, he's trying to be a believer, there is, when someone is trying to be a believer, and there is, when someone is hiding under the sheet, just to get you together with him under the sheet, they are just not trying, they are pretending to be trying, so that they can just get you inside, because they cannot afford to lose you. And there is when you really meet a genuine person, who is not a believer, and they be a believer, because I can, I, 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 I've met some people who are not really believer. Even me, let me just say I was not a believer because I was a hypocrite. And when I finally decided to be a believer, people can tell the difference. This girl has changed, has become this and this. Because you can really tell, the, you, you will know them by their fruit. You can tell this person stop doing this and this. This person is dedicated. So when you start seeing this sign in this person that you want to tie knots with, not just to sign for one month or two months three months just for a long period and you see it prolonging and they're becoming more and more and more seeking after the truth then okay but do not just drag someone into the mix you drag someone to be your baby mama your baby daddy you drag someone to be your wife your husband and then you expect them to change just because of love just because of child it doesn't work like that i'm telling you so that you can know and if uh, you think i'm also misleading you you need to pray about it. If you think that I don't know what I'm talking about, you need to pray about it. Let God show you if it's really okay for you to get married to an unbeliever. Every video you come across, every video you see, they always talk about this scripture. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbeliever for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has lies with darkness 15. And what concord has Christ with Belial or what part is he that believes with an infidel? So yeah you already know, be not yoked with, uh, together with an unbeliever. So if he's trying to be a believer, well and good. Just take there, just watch, observe. Just just don't dip yourself into a soup and you don't, you didn't test if it was hot or cold. And uh, again, before I finish this video, you guys have been texting me via Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, every direction, every corner of my social media accounts. I didn't mention any social media accounts, so how you found him? Okay, you just found me. So I will leave my email in the description box below. If there is anything you want to tell me to talk about, you can send me an email. Because I'm uh, sometimes I normally ignore people, especially when they text me via Facebook. I'm like, ah, this is someone just bothering me. I just normally ignore. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I've ignored you. I didn't know. Maybe, maybe you should just put it frank. Hey, I'm this, this, this. But if you're like, hi, hello. Hi, hey, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm a bit reserved and uh, sometimes I take my time before I do things and again I'm so bubbly. So again, before I finish this video, in my next video, I was supposed to do this video before I started this YouTube channel. I just popped out, out of nowhere and I was like, I had a dream and vision about this, this, this and I started posting video. You guys didn't know who am I, where am I coming from. 
so i'm going to do a video about myself who am i what am i what is my intention what why did i decide to open this youtube channel and am i here to stay am i here for seasonal yeah I think I've talked enough. May God bless you. May God be with you. Be blessed. Please don't get married to an unbeliever, but get married to a person who is a believer. Whether you've met them, if they are non-believer, it's okay. But if they become and they become strong and powerful, well and good. Because, uh, yeah, I'll talk the, the rest in my next video. May God bless you. Mwah.